2023 World Team member Max Dean wrestling 86 kilos today. You wrapped up your tournament. What did you think overall of your first World Championships? Oh, you know, definitely grateful for the experience. Uh, definitely a learning experience. You know, I want to say thank you to like USA Wrestling and Finger Lakes Wrestling Club and Titan Mercury for kind of letting me have this opportunity. But um, you know, disappointing finish. You know, you never want to travel all this way and go and won and so many people that support you so I feel like you left down a little bit but you know first international freestyle competition and just grateful for the learning experience. We run into 2018 junior world champ in the first round what are some things that you learned during that match about the international styles? Oh uh, I think I you know need to do a better job staying on my feet when I'm finishing and not ending up in some of those more freestyle positions where I'm getting rolled through and those sorts of things. Um, you know I had him on the shot clock early and then ended up giving a takedown and do a lace so probably being a little bit more patient uh, in certain contexts but you know at the same time like you know obviously he's a good freestyle wrestler but you know that's the level I want to be at and I need to fix these things so I can compete with those guys. You had your brother in your corner what was that like? It's awesome yeah um, you know I'm grateful to have Gabe as a coach and one because he's you know was a talented wrestler and knows a lot about winning and also you know he's just a great fun person to be around and anytime that you get to have experiences like this with your brother that's pretty cool. And you're taking Olympic redshirt? I am, yeah. How does something like this help prepare you for what's to come? Just getting exposed to new things. Um, and also coming out here and wrestling good competition and definitely exposes all the things you need to work on really quick. So I'm um, excited to get back to New York and get back to work. And that means you're not enrolled in school, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not in any classes right now. Okay, so, so what, what do you, you're just full-time focused on wrestling then? Yeah, yep. And I think, you know, I've been doing a little bit of work for my dad's company as well, but I think you know, a little bit of my problem too, maybe in my mental preparation was just that I think maybe the last couple of months I've let wrestling become almost like the only important part of my day, which might not be the most healthy. So I had a good talk with my parents and um, I think maybe I might take on a little bit more work for my dad or start doing some other things just so that, you know, if you're letting your, your wrestling be the only important part of your day, then it puts so much pressure on it because it kind of, whether you're having a good day or a bad day or a good week or bad week, kind of all rides on that, which, you know, probably is the most healthy mindset, so. Elaborate on that a little bit then. So it's just, you're too focused on wrestling. It's not even obsessed. being too focused or like that, you know, I'm going to put less effort into wrestling or, you know, care less about it. It's just that if that's the only thing you're doing, um, you know, it's almost like being a little bit too one-dimensional. Um, you know, I don't want to be, you know, just a wrestler. You know, not that I am, but I think I need to start doing a little bit more outside of wrestling. You and several other teammates are doing Olympic redshirts, so what's that like having guys that are looking towards the same goals as you are? Oh, it's neat, yeah, for sure. I mean, Yanni and Vito and Andy Berryesa, um, kind of having a group of guys where, you know, anytime that you get to kind of hang out, wrestle with your buddies, and, you know, Andy, I think, just got here last night, so try to see him before we take off, but um, I have these experiences with them. You know, those guys are my best friends, so uh, it's been awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Yep.